Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Diecast Alpha. And in today's episode, we're going to look at these two beauties. The 582 McLaren Artura in ice silver. And the 569 Bugatti Chiron Super Sport in white. Okay, now... I'm not going to beat about the bush, I'm going to go straight in for the kill because I've got one video left on this memory card and uh, I don't want it to run out with a schoolboy error. So, 582 McLaren Natura. McLaren licensed product in the middle, authenticity TSM, details of the model bottom left. Okay. So let's go straight in. I say I've just taken the seal off, but I've not opened these models yet, so it's all new to me. Oh, it's a bit of a, a tricksy silver, ice silver. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Very, uh, very tricksy, sparkly, rubber wing mirror D. <laughs> wow, mm, not for me. It's not, hey, don't get me wrong, right hand drive. Don't get me wrong, I say it's not for me. <laughs> you what? Of course, it's for me, <laughs> but what I mean is, it's not my favorite. Colour, um, nice under a, in a cabinet for display, nice rear end, uh, we'll, we'll show some close ups, smooth on the bottom, uh, yeah, it's a nice model don't get me wrong, Run, runs free, okay. It's, it's lovely. It is a lovely model. It's just me being funny with my colours. But I, what do I know? I can't even see them proper. So very, very nice aerodynamic lines down it. Um, it's not my favourite cast in the Atora, but very nice. Nice at big air intakes at the uh, front of the the rear wheel arch. Nice. Spoked wheels. Pretty boring front end, but I don't know. Needed something just underneath the nose. Um, nice engine bay. I mean, there's going to be abs some absolute monster McLaren Atura fans out there. So, what do I know? <laughs> nice. I like the rear, it's about the rear end. It's about the, the nicest I like about this. I like the fact that the exhausts are chrome tipped. So the likes of me can see them. Because uh, I say with the colour blindness comes when you start mixing the the, the the colours on the cars. I can't see parts. I think they're just painted or just like a little, you know, they're, they're not inserted uh, bright lights, I don't think. Well, they're not. Nice aerodynamics skirt underneath. That's so nice. Nice engine bay. Mm, nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular. No details on the bottom. Hmm. Doesn't get me excited. 
at all. So, and some of these don't really. Just, they're there and they're part of the collection and uh, we've got to have them. Nice glossy smooth roof. Okay. Not a lot to be said about that really. I'm not, I'm not that impressed. It's okay. It's okay. You know me, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I what I feel. Don't mean to say it's right, does it? It's just what I like. So now we're gonna go to this 569 Bugatti Bugatti Chiron super sport in white um i think there'll be a few guys ladies and gentlemen who will like this one details bottom left um bugatti seal in the middle authenticity and the tsm authenticity on the right i bet you get sick of me saying all this don't you just you just want to see the car and the number <laughs> Okay, I make no apologies though because really because people do want to know that information. There's new people as well. People who are new to this hobby need to know, you know, so please be patient with me because as I say there's uh, always new people coming into this my god that's stunning oh that's absolutely gorgeous wasn't expecting that oh it's one of these that i looked at the box and i thought oh god i nearly said it when i was looking at that mclaren these pair are not that exciting well i take it all back because this is absolutely stunning beautiful front end lovely headlamps god that black and white contrast is gorgeous and it's a carbon stripe up the bonnet we'll get the close-ups in a minute gorgeous engine bay i'm trying not to drop it oh my god lots of carbon down the bottom uh, down the side down the sill back end's gorgeous bugatti carbon spoiler beautiful spoke wheels my god that is gorgeous rubber wing mirrors let's get it on there before i drop it a little bit of gubbins not a lot on the bottom well that's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous that is beautiful beautiful yeah, that box does not do it justice, I can assure you. All that carbon down the side. Gorgeous. Love them wheels. We, we've seen them before. Love them wheels. And that's that iconic front end, number 16. Beautiful headlamps. Lovely grill. I say carbon, that's a carbon stripe. I shouldn't hold it by the spoiler, but I am. See the car carbon stripe down the front of the bonnet, carbon on the roof. That's absolutely beautiful. Rubber wing mirrors. Yeah, well, in total contrast to that McLaren, it's stunning. Beautiful. 
try and light it up with my torch. See, I don't like artificial light. I think you can see the carbon better, but it it puts a silly shine on it. I don't like it, so I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Let's turn it there. See the engine bay, gorgeous carbon, carbon spoiler. I think the car speaks for itself. Lovely rear end details, inserted brake lights right across the back, and nice red striping. Gorgeous. Lovely jabbly. Let's come out a little midges. Yeah, a little bit of detail on the bottom. Not a lot, as Paul Daniels used to say, the magician. Not a lot. Okay, well, oof, what a beautiful car that is. So we'll stick that there, we'll stick this McLaren there. I know what I'd have if I was picking the two. I mean, don't get me wrong, in their own right, the two beautiful cars. Um, me being ignorant as I am, I assume that, well, I was going to say that the Bugatti's more expensive than the McLaren but I, I, I bet it's probably not I don't know no idea let me know in the comments you clever clogs people you know everything okay very very nice indeed how's that won't mind them in my garage though, hey? Couple of 911s. Uh, beautiful. Okay. Nice couple of Lamborghinis as well. Well, okay, everybody. Well, I, I, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Um, not a particularly long episode. Wasn't supposed to be. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button. If you've not, don't hit the like button. Um, but if you're going to watch it, hit the like button. And uh, if you've liked it, or hit the subscribe button. And uh, I say, enjoy your hobby. And uh, these two, the, these two here would um, grace anybody's collection. That's for sure. Um, for all your model needs, try the modelstore.co.uk. It's just who I use. Um, I do all my pre-orders with them for Mini GT. And uh, and I have great service. So try them out. There's plenty of others out there. Um, but you see, my thing is, I know I'm guaranteed with my pre-orders, you see. And, um, and you get great customer service. Okay. So I'm not sure what time of the year this is going to be. Uh, as I said in my last two videos... We may just be before Christmas. We might be in the middle of Christmas and New Year. Uh, either way, it's Christmas time. So, all the best. And uh, enjoy your evening. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Diecast Alfie. Take care. Enjoy your hobby. Bye.